one good pumping chamber, which in hypoplastic left heart syndrome is the right ventricle. That ventricle has to pump to the body. So you have to connect the arteries to the lungs and the body in such a way that all the blood goes out to the body without any obstruction. In HLHS, the aorta is usually too small. So we correct that by putting a patch on to enlarge it. And that's done by connecting the pulmonary artery, which comes from the right ventricle, to the aorta, and then usually putting a patch on to finish the connection of those two uh, blood vessels and enlarge the aorta. In addition, you have to prevent blood from backing up inside the left side of the heart. So you have to cut out the partition between the two upper chambers of the heart. And then the third principle of the Norwood operation, or the first stage operation, is to provide some restricted blood flow to the lungs. What we call pulmonary blood flow. And we do that by placing a shunt, or a small tube, from one of the systemic arteries, or arteries that goes from the heart to the body, to the pulmonary artery. That is enough flow that you can get enough oxygen in the bloodstream, but not so much flow that you have resistance problems.